Mike, um, in May, May 13, had asked, in your talks, you say that without insulin, adipocytes cannot grow. What about acylation stimulating protein? This seems to make adipocytes grow without insulin. So there are other signals that can promote fat cell growth, like ASP, like cortisol. These are variables that do stimulate the growth of fat cells. However, if you look at the type 1 diabetic who just decides to um, remove their insulin or underdose their insulin, their cortisol levels may be very high. Their ASP will be at an elevated level, although you never measure that ever. Um, and yet they don't matter. So even though ASP and cortisol and other stimuli can influence fat cell growth, in the absence of insulin, literally nothing else matters. That's why, that's why I come down on it so hard because we want to complicate it. And I know that that's just sort of human nature. We want to complicate it. We want to believe obesity is this really fantastically complicated disorder because then it helps people market various strategies or it helps people feel better and justified with their struggles. Um, and I'm sympathetic to all of those things. However, if, if you can remove one single variable and that is responsible for every effect, then, then ultimately nothing else matters. Ultimately, everything else is just a, at best secondary contributor. And, and as a scientist, I don't care about that.